Okay, so I hmm. Maybe we're just gonna do the challenge win uh with everything you have. Like use your best strategy that you have so far. Yeah, exactly. That's a and good then plan. Uh, try, try to win with that because yeah, what I've seen so far, like with these preset strategies, I mean it's good to practice them, but sometimes they just are not the, the right call. Yeah. So yeah, I would suggest to try to Hmm, let's see. So I've I've gone live and I'm just checking uh, for some reason it doesn't uh, I this see is you. really strange. Yeah, you you can see me but uh, I should also have a feed for the Discord, but uh, and, hmm. let's see. Well, there seems to be a big delay, I think. Delay. Or maybe it's just just me. Uh, maybe I just need to refresh. Uh, well, there's always delay yeah. between the Twitch Twitch stream and uh, and live. Yeah, that's true. It may be a few seconds. Ah, okay. Yeah, so it makes more sense that I don't watch your Twitch stream and instead yeah. uh, watch just your uh, Discord stream. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I know what's going on. Can I? We're not in the spectator studio, that's why it's not streaming. Wait, I'll shift this to the uh... spectator studio. There we go. Oh, and now I need to stream as well. There we go. Voila. Voila. Look at that, amazing. Breaking boundaries, the signs of our planet. David <laughs> Attenborough and John what? Rockstrom examined Earth's biodiversity. Oh, <laughs> that's not the yeah. game. <laughs> okay. It's just watching some Webcam Netflix. Court OBS simultaneous. What? Why? Why is the game not showing up in uh, Discord now? Lucky for you, there was nothing embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Very lucky. Huh. <laughs> hmm. Streamer mode. <laughs> ah, I mean, how? Okay, the easiest way is just to shut down the browser. There we go. Now I should be able to stream Age of Empires. There we go. All right. All right let's see. Okay. Oh yeah, I. See. Yes. Oh, we have two viewers already. We have two viewers already. Okay. I'm not quite okay. sure. It only says that I'm watching apparently. I'm not sure who the viewers are, but uh... maybe we'll get some comments. Maybe it's in artificial. The... Yeah, exactly. Maybe they tell us who they are. So what is this? Your stream has started. So I want to see Peter Host, not stream. Ah, there is Peter Host in the orange. Ah, the Vazal is, uh, is here. Ah, excellent. All right, so, well, your video is ready. You want to turn your video on? Ah, okay, okay. Oh, I didn't expect. I don't, I'm not sure. Okay. I need to turn on the lights, I think. Oh, now, now it's shifted. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Orange. Okay. Giving the viewers a little insight on how OBS is working. Yeah, indeed. All right, there we go. And now I need to turn you on. There we go. All right, there we go. All right, uh, let's get into this. Uh, so I need to go to multiplayer. Uh, ranked. And uh, 1v1. Alright. Of course, I don't want the Baltic, the Arena. But the rest is fine. Let's see. There's no, no Nomad anymore in this, in this. I don't know. They did an update, I think. That's okay. a big shame, isn't it? But it's Let's a big see. shame, but I... Oh, there's I Nomad in 2v2 still. Okay, so the, the only nomad they have is in two two v two. Hmm, interesting. All right, all right. I think it will be back soon in the one v one ladder. But let's let's look at the maps. So you're banning Baltic, which is fair, I guess. 
Yes, arena? stupid tanks. Go, okay. Yeah, I'd, have I you played it. on arena before? Oh, I've played many times. All right, and you hate it. Well, I mean, uh, I can use neither the tower rush nor the uh, scout rush in this uh, in this map. All right, so it's okay, a, it's okay, really okay. A, a I think it's a boomers game this one. All right, for, for yes. late players. No, I think it's good. Yeah. I think it's good. So let's let's jump into the match. Excellent. Uh, so maybe a little introduction for our viewers. Mm -hmm. um, so Jesse the Emperor is currently undergoing the 12th weeks Age of Empires challenge, um, or is it 14 weeks? I don't know. 11 um, weeks to get him up to speed. 11 weeks. Okay. So it's like one of these fitness challenges where you try to get a good physique in <laughs> 12 weeks. Uh, but this time you want to like teach your mind, coach your mind to become better at Age of Empires. Um, exactly. And so each week Jesse has to um, fulfill a challenge. And so far we had uh, something like playing a ranked game, executing a, a tower rush, executing a scout rush. And uh, one thing that he needs to do this week is getting coached by someone who's a little bit better than he is so far. Um, so that's why I'm here and that's why I'm happy to jump into this game with Jesse and uh, see what what he can do. Yeah, you better be careful, Peter Host. Uh, I mean, you're only a little better than me, so it won't be a yes. long before I defeat you. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's my my problem. <laughs> right now I can, I can sort of still teach you a little mm. bit but it's, uh, the difference isn't that big anymore uh, very humble Peter. So, yeah. well no, uh, we uh, have a match uh, now and it's arabia already arabia okay so random yeah. stuff i guess no i'm gonna choose or... one but uh, oh, gonna choose so now you have okay, to give me some insight no you have <laughs> so do you have any strategy you wanna wanna uh, do maybe uh let's do the uh scout rush all right, so which Civ would you pick? That's a good question. Uh, I have no idea. Maybe the Magyars. You can do the Magnus. It's not the best, but you can you can try them. They have no early game bonus, but their scouts have plus one attack. Hmm. Um, and good. they're cheaper, so that's pretty good. So just try it. Okay. All right, so still have 15 seconds, but there we go. Yeah. So better scout rush civilizations, probably something like the Mongols. Mongols, um, why? Because the hunt because okay so the mongols get a hunting bonus so their hunters work faster so they can gather a lot of food very early so they can go up to feudal age with less villagers so they can do like 19 pop uh, oh. feudal age okay. and that's why you have like scouts out a lot earlier and uh, that means you can do more damage so we're against the sicilians yeah um so let's see what this guy's up to now do your starting hey house I'm, house with two I'm not. Uh, it's not working. My keyboard is a disaster. This is a complete <laughs> disaster. Ah, there we go. Okay, go I think go, it was go, uh, slightly. Uh, well, we need to give this poor noob. Uh, you okay. know. Okay. Use your scout and to. Yeah. Okay. Make sure that your that your sheep are the are underneath the TC. <laughs> Oh, disaster. Uh, <laughs> what is this? Close enough. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know. So you should, should use one sheep for scouting at least. One sheep for Ideally scouting. Ideally more. Oh yeah, yes, that's a good idea. One, one sheep to the north of your town center that can already do the scouting. Oh yeah, where? Um, to, to the, the north? north of the town center. This one. Well, it's in the in the upper corner, yeah. There's Something another one. Like oh. Yeah. oh, okay. It doesn't matter. So, where shall I go here? A little bit late, but it's okay. Yeah, something like this, so that it always that it also comes back to the town center. Oh, All we have right. food! Look at that, amazing. Okay, so now villagers? the next villager goes Six. to wood. The next yes. villager goes to wood. Where we go? There, it's a good place. So the this one idle villager with this one goes to wood and builds a lumber cap. Yes. Yes. And now, wood more villagers so are you still producing you need to queue the next villager if possible ah, by dropping off food right now yes yes villager. now put four on wood i would say okay 
a little bit easier. All right, and yeah, cue the next villager. Cue the villager. Yes. All right. The, the food so income is the... uh, very, uh, very tight. So you have a, a water buffalo to the right that you can a water either buffalo. use for scouting. Oh, look yeah, at or that. The, the cow. Okay, let's cow. go because the I cow. need the food. Yeah, you need the food underneath the town center. Um, okay, so next villager. What does the next villager do? Uh, we're going for food. Oh, make sure that the cow is <laughs> outside of the town center. Oh, no. The next villager is taking the first boar. Have you found the first boar? Yeah, there should be a boar. Let's see. Did you find it? Uh, I must have. Oh, there. There is it. There it is. Oh, you, you can um, go there, so, so instead of going for the berries, so you can build a house with this villager and then take the boar. Oh, I'll do that with uh, the next or, one. No, oh yeah, do it with the next one because your your cow is almost yeah. eaten up. Yes. All right. Ah. Then the queue villager. Nice. And build a house. And yeah. make sure that the the villager isn't killed underneath the town center. Go back to the town center. Go oh, back shit. to the town center. You have a boar. Town center. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> complete disaster. Uh, Where, where's my villager? Oh, there. <laughs> uh, okay. At least you didn't get housed. <laughs> this is true. Okay. Don't. Yeah. Don't do too much scouting with this because otherwise uh, your opponent will lame. Hmm. <laughs> Where is it's it? W. Oh, yeah. W. Okay, produce extra villagers. Dropping ah. off food. Drop off food. Yeah. Yes, villagers queue. Oh. Two villagers. <laughs> all right, all right, this, all right. Uh... We're getting there. And and uh, make sure that you look cow at the is score though. Yet. At least at least my uh, bring, opponent bring... is as big big a, fo a fool as me. Bring... So. Sketch. Bring the, the the cow back in because otherwise it, it might get stolen. Yeah, just bring it back. It's you need you will need the food. Bring in the second boar. I mean, it's already a little bit late. Oh shit! Yeah. So Where's put the them, second boar? Put all those those villagers. Yeah, that's that's the issue. You haven't found it yet. Doesn't oh, matter. Like this. We'll go for the. Okay, put put your village idle villagers to a straggler tree. What? In the meantime. To what? To a straggler tree. Oh, yeah. Um, so that they do at least something, uh, and queue more villagers. Okay, this is not going to be a scout rush, I think. <laughs> okay, I think you can drop off the wood, and then take the cow. Yes. Excellent. We'll get there. And we need to find the second boar ASAP. All right. Well, oh, what okay, is this? He's the, doing the walling. Opponent is, Interesting. Is walling. Is walling. So make sure that you find the second boar. I see it, I guess, on the mini map. Is Can you? Or... Oh, that's yes, it. There it is. What? Another one? They're, they were yes. both next to each other. Yes. That's ridiculous. Yeah, build a house. Build a house with, with two villagers. Make sure that the villager doesn't die. <laughs> there we are. We are housed. Okay, well, it's fine. It's fine. The, the boar is coming in. Garrison with this villager, Garrison. That's all right. Key is the hotkey. All right, so it's all right. Okay. Uh, okay, I think yeah. Ideally, you would go up now, but I don't think we have the resources. So make sure that you're that you produce some more villagers. Um, you have so much wood, you don't need to go to wood. Instead, you can just build barracks. Oh yeah, you found his you found his cows. Very good. Yeah. Um, use this one to just build a barracks. Um. Not to no no no, <laughs> no? Back, at, back at home back at home delete that barracks <laughs> All and right. build it back at home because he will need to maybe need to defend okay yeah it's kind of fine uh, if you drop off uh, you can build loom now loom no not not a villager cancel the villager build loom okay. and then make sure that you go up yeah oh I can go up now yes of course because the uh, yes, 
retask all those to the uh, is the cow still there? Yeah. You can use the cow. And I've got and more cows coming in. There, are, there's two weak villagers in there. There's two weak take the weak villagers in this bunch. You can just select all and then yeah. yeah. All right. And now build a farm. And you should use hotkeys for that. It's Q. I know, yeah. A. There we go. Yes. Very nice. Yeah, fine. And uh Okay, build another house with the... No, no militia, no militia. We're going for Scout Rush. Are we still going for Scout cancel, Rush? Cancel, cancel the militia. Cancel the militia. It's way too late. Cancel them immediately. I was yes. going to go for Men at Arms. No, that, that... forget it. Okay. Build a house with a villager that is, has built the barracks. Oh, you have these houses. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so you need to be ready to drop the stable ASAP once you reach the feudal age. Okay, he's, he's faster. And it's it's fine. Yeah, you can start to go on gold maybe for transition. Good point. Where's my gold? Uh there. In the front. It's in the front. It's next to your berries. Yes. Okay. Yeah, build a stable with those two. All right, so you need to uh, start thinking about economy upgrades oh, yeah. and produce villagers, produce villagers, produce villagers, produce villagers, yes. And don't queue too many, yeah, that's good, that's all right. And once the stable's up, you can queue four scouts and bring your initial scout back home or to group up or scout with your initial scout, maybe. Yeah, that's okay. And already... Where is my scout? Okay. Yeah, it didn't. Okay, you should always, yeah, control group. Uh. Okay, make sure. No, don't attack this one. <laughs> Just group up and drop a blacksmith because we want to also be able to go up to the next age. Okay. Or yeah, first you can drop a couple of farms and then yeah, don't have enough wood. It's okay. Uh, and what once did you say? Oh yeah. You need you need to go forward with your scouts. So control group your scouts to one. Yeah. And move forward. He is probably already fully walled, but he can anyways try to, to find some damage. Yeah. Hey, what's your day? Uh, okay, then try to yes, balance your eco. Um did you research horse collar before placing down all those farms? I did not. You did not. That's something you should do. Try to find some damage. I mean, we're already late, but still, yeah. Go, go to the front. Shit. No. Ah, he's not walled. Okay, that's very good. Now run around. Run around. Okay. No, 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 no. He, he, he will just lose all your scouts. Yeah. Try to go to the wood line. What? And there's a hole. There's a yeah. hole. Yeah. There's a hole. Let's go. What? No. Oh, no, there's no hole. Fuck. Oh, it's not a hole. Oh. Can you go in there? Ah, he doesn't see this. That's amazing. Yes, He's gonna pick that perfect. villager up. Yes, and then the other one as well. Yes. I'll go there. Go to the berries. Yeah. Yes. And Q villagers. Q villagers. And then go castle age once you can. Once you have the blacksmith. So you need to build the blacksmith. Go to the berries. Go to the back of the berries. Build a blacksmith. Take an idle villager and build a blacksmith. Or any villager. And go to your scouts. Go to your scouts. Very good. You've killed a couple of villagers. Go to the mining camp. Alright, I think I think it's looking good, but yeah. Ah, very good. And then just go in and out, in and out. The lumberjacks, they will overchop at some point. Yeah. So you just need to keep well. Okay, so now you Fuck. try to go to Castle Age. Uh, you think uh, you will just lose all of them? Oh, well. Maybe just yeah. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, um, Retask yeah, yeah. your idle villages. Retask your idle villages. So, what is your next plan? There we go. What is your next plan? Uh, I'm not sure actually. So you could go for knights, which would be a of course, yeah, a reasonable transition. 
Um, mm, I think so. I need you need more food. food. Mm. Yes, you need to rebalance your economy. So he is. Uh, I don't know if he's up to task range. His score is a lot higher, but I wouldn't be too disencouraged. Discouraged by that. Do I need to do an uh, upgrade? You haven't been pretty. Be careful with your scout. Ah, this okay. Spearman. Okay, what could you do alternatively? Alternatively, I'll do this upgrade. You could do this upgrade, yes. I mean, he has, he will produce a lot of spearmen, so that's something you need to take care of or need to keep uh, in mind. That shall I make a uh, siege workshop? Ah, uh, you not yet. You will need to do that, but I think first is uh, pumping up a couple of knights and do some more raiding because he did uh, have this bad woodline where he will do an overcharge at some point. Uh, and did you do horse collar yet? Go to the mill. This one. The mill. Oh yeah, I did the this mill. One. Yeah. Okay, you did. Okay. Then you can Should do I do this one? In yes, in preparation. Yes, in preparation of the the knights, and you can even drop a second stable in principle. Okay. Just to. What? No stable. Stable. Okay, ah. because you're gonna be in castle age soon, and now you're gonna pump out the knights. Yes. So I do this one first? No, 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 no. Forget the upgrades. We. Oh, okay. Garrison with the villagers in the town center. Garrison with the villagers in the town center. Okay. Yes, yeah, oh. just a weak feudal age army, oh, so don't panic. Oh, did you just press stop? Oh, I, I press G. T. T is the hot key. Ah, it's T. Okay, that's a disaster. Now you make sure that your that your knights are not getting picked off one by one. Ah. Okay. Lure him into your town center. Yeah. Okay, what you can do is build a defensive tower to protect your gold. And maybe okay, drop a monastery to heal to you could drop a monastery to heal your knights, for instance. Monastery, monastery, there we go. So I so the idea is to use it to your knights to do some counter-attacking. Maybe. Yeah, or kill kill this yeah, the spearman will be killed, I think. Yes. Um Yeah, use the knights to do some counter-attacking. I think he's not doing anything. Okay. Shall I make these? But keep it close to your town center. Okay. Yes, and make some more knights if you can. Yes, make more villagers. Do you are you actually creating villagers? That's no. a big question. You can always create villagers. Hey. Oh, and uh, yeah, kill, attack his scout. He probably doesn't have any upgrades. Yes, so you can just kill his scout. And now go back to the wood line. You could probably fight what he has, but yeah. Yes, you can also convert one of his spearmen. Yeah, very good. Now, check your knights in the front. Check your knights in the front. Your knights in the front in his enemy base. I killed some villagers. Go to the go to the wood line. And create extra villages. Create yeah. villages. Create villages. Yeah. And and now press select your town center and press F. Okay. And now clean up this army of this. Because now your villagers all went to wood line. You need to retask yeah. them to gold. And Make a town center on the gold. Okay. Ah, oh, this is amazing. Yes, very good, very good. And attack with the rest of your knights. Take where, the rest of your knights. Where are they actually? Which are, which are they're actually oh, I already sent the them, enemy. Yeah. Yes. And make sure that your knights are fine. Yes. And kill more villages. Yeah. Yes. Very good. All right. Looks oh, decent. Shit. 
It's okay, it's okay. You can you could fight this. Yeah, okay. Just retreat. Retreat for now, retreat for now. You also have a monk to heal, remember? Yeah. Retreat. Okay, attack the gate. Attack the gate with those. Kill the village first. Yeah, kill the villages. That's good. <clears throat> yes. And create extra villages. Did you already place the TC foundation close to your gold? No. Place a TC now, between yeah. the gold and the wood. Yes. Just to boom oh, further ahead. Interesting. Okay. The the scouts are no match in principle. But not if your knight is not affected. Okay, retreat with the knights for now. <clears> retreat <throat> with all the knights for now. Or oh, yeah, you could yeah, you could fight this. You could fight this in principle. Oh, there's the spearmen as well, right? Yeah. And produce more knights. And put more of your villages to gold then. And you uh, need the houses. You need houses. Build houses, easy, yes. Easy, easy. And now he will hit you with, with uh, scouts. So you need to build more knights. Should I do this? And yeah, you can. You could you do this, yes. And you can also research the plus two defense. Now go to your knights. Go to your knights. Go to your knights. Go to your knights. Kill the scouts. And now he also has knights. So be prepared that your monk, if you still have it, yeah, somewhere here. Yeah. Yes, that he that this one <coughs> will convert uh, the enemy knight. Or yeah. Yes, and attack with your knights. These the scouts attack the scouts instead of the knights, because your monk will ideally convert the knight. Yeah, so looks good. Excellent. Perfect. You yeah. already converted. Excellent. Retask, so Ooh. create. Yeah, yeah, you can fight this. You can fight this. They, he has nothing. Patrol into the enemy. Patrol. Oh, you have a villager with you. Doesn't matter. Patrol. Create more villages from both of your town centers. Create villages. Okay, time for a counterattack. Use your knights. Go to the enemy. Go see the enemy, attack his weak um, gate. Uh, finish the stable. Finish the stable with the idle villager. Yeah. Create more villages from both town centers. There's a key for that, let's see. If I can find it. You can ah, that's this HQ, amazing. HQ, HQ, it, HQ, yeah. HQ. Yeah. Take, go to your knights and Control attack. One, then. Oh, a little bit for good. Attack the gate. Attack the gate. Gate. And retask your villages. Build up an economy. Okay, your knights are not really attacking, so it's fine. We need more gold and create villages from both fountains. We need also more farms. And then we need to pump out the knights, if possible. Pumping out knights from both stables. Okay, I think you can go in. You can go in. Go to your knights. Go to your knights. You can. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can almost go in. I need repairing. repairing. Okay, kill. kill the villager. Yes. And just kill his units. I think he has nothing. Yeah, yeah you can kill the sergeants and the knights. Ooh. Perfect. Ooh. And he built some defensive, defensive bundles. Castle. So you go to his go to his wood, wood line. Or yet, kill the knight first. Kill the knight. Kill the knight that he has. It's just a single knight. Kill it. And kill the stone miners that he has. Okay, he drew retreated. No. So let's go to his vulnerable area. So let's go to the mm -hmm. wood pile. And let's create more villagers. And build more houses. With the idle villages that you have. Houses and a couple of farms. Go to your knights. Go to your knights. Okay. Okay, now you need to retreat, maybe. Yeah, retreat or use this to scout for scouting. Yes, perfect. Exactly. And you can research hand card now. Now it's worth it. And you need more, more farms. Definitely need more farms. 
So you have a lot of wood and oversaturated lumber camp, so build another lumber camp um, at a different wood line. <coughs> yeah. And you can also uh, uh, research the plus two defense for your knights at the blacksmith. This one? Yes, this one. Pump out the knights from all stables, from both of your stables. You can also double click the stables to oh, yeah? both at the same time. Oh, that's time. amazing. Yeah, I didn't know that. Set a gather point. Set a gather point for your second stable. Uh, you have a lot of idle villagers. So you need to make sure to retask all of those idle villagers. You need to open a second wood line. And build a castle. You can build a castle defensively for now, or you can try to end the game, but it's probably not going to work. So, build a castle in the front of your base. Yeah, something like this. That's fine. But it's not the perfect position, but it's fine. Uh, build extra villagers and pump out the knights, because he will try to attack you now. And you can, uh, instead of killing so many villagers, you should instead go for handcart. Okay. Yes. Uh, wheelbarrow. Just cancel. Mean. Just cancel a wheelbarrow. Yeah. Just cancel a few villages. Yes, wheelbarrow. Yes. And create extra villages and try to harass him all the time. Try to keep him confined in a space. Yes. Attack the gate. That's good. Oh, now we can go in. Yeah. Bye yeah, bye. Just go in. <laughs> just go in. Perfect. Try to hit his wood line again. Yes. Create extra villages with the other town center that you have. Yes. Create more farms and create extra knights. Okay. Check your knights in the front. Check your knights in the front. Your knights, your knights are important, not the farms. The knights are important. Adam. Yeah. Are you doing all right for now? Yeah, they're doing all right. It's good. It's good. It's good. He has to constantly uh, do inefficient trades here, which is good. Um, got the sergeants really suck, <laughs> as you can see. Um, so we are slowly winning this game. So uh, the next thing will be to establish a siege workshop in the front. Um, okay. But we will need to pump out the knights still. So go to the wood line again, pump out the knights, and fix your idols. Fix your idols. So farms, just farms, 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 farms. Farms for days. Did you enable auto reseed farm? Yeah. Cool. Very good. Yeah. Okay, we need to scout a little bit the map. And take a couple of villagers forward to build a siege workshop close to his base. Yes, there. Cool. Pull your armies, your knights, you close to the siege workshop. And check the knights that are hit in his base. Check if you can hit the gold again, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Again. Okay. Yes, very good. You killed a couple villagers, now run around. Run around into the back. Create more villages. And go to Imperial Age with the other town center. Okay, cancel a couple of villagers and go to the town center. Yeah, to the Imperial Age. Yes. It's really unnecessary, but... And, and that... now you can prepare a couple of rams. Rams, yeah. Yes. And with those, you can actually uh, make a lumber camp just to get a little bit of wood. Um, oh, well. oh, okay. So he has a second town center now. And now we want to get a forward castle if possible. Yeah. I need more... Uh... More stone. So attack the gate if you can. Oh yeah, he will open it for you. Uh... Okay, now. Yeah. And now you can take the ram. Take the ram that you have. And... Yes and create another ram and create more knights because we're just gonna gonna go for cavalier at this point and set the gather point where to where your army is and take 
Take your, take your knights in the front. Okay, they will probably die. I need. Okay. Uh... And yeah, take your other knights that your rams are not getting killed. Protect the rams. Okay, now get in with all your knights and the rams and the rams and attack his military buildings that he created there with the rams so try to make to not run into the london get the rams yes and attack attack the stable attack the stable that is right there there's an archery range barracks and a stable attack the stable with the with the rams not with your knights with the rams now the rams cannot attack Take double click the knights, double click the rams. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Now research cavalier. Uh -huh. yeah. In the stable. Yes. Yeah. And in the blacksmith, research plate barring arm. And yeah. in the siege workshop, research. In the research workshop, research cap ram. Yeah, now you need cap ram. Siege workshop. This, uh, this one. The left. Yes, this one. Perfect. Send more knights in and create extra knights. Now take your rams and attack the donjon. The rams should attack the donjon. And you can set your your caval soon to be cavalier in. I think I think we got this. Uh, it's hard to imagine that you will have enough to stop this push. Especially with Cavalier and plus 40 uh, defense. And now attack the town center with the cap brands mm -hmm. and create extra cap brands from your siege workshop. Yes. Yes, that's it. And then more Cavalier from the stables. Yes. Okay, we actually. Okay. And yeah, we could go. For... But Paladin is overkill, I think. So he has a second town center. Which we need to kill with the cap rams, and otherwise your your cavalier should just kill the villagers if possible. Yeah, run after him, and I think I think we got this. Take the cap rams and attack the second town center. Okay, he has a second base apparently, but it doesn't matter. He will, so you need to scout the, the top right with these cavaliers. So just send them to the top right and let's see what's there. Uh, in the meantime, go to the to his main base and kill the donjon with the cat brand. And pump out more cavalier if you can. and scout the top right corner with some cavalier of the map or the right corner i mean uh, um, okay just with these three just to the very right okay uh destroy take the cap rams and destroy his houses yeah. so now it's a, now the question is okay yeah he built a monastery I mean, it's basically over, but he seems to have some kind of <laughs> secondary base or something. Yeah. So the, he tries to build an archery range there, I guess. So maybe we can deny that. Where is okay. this? Sure. I don't know. Uh, so now it's just a matter of finding his uh, remaining villagers and killing him. In the left corner, for instance, he could have something. In the meantime, you could check your idols, for instance, and you could build more houses. Ah, there he is. There he is. Look on the minimap. Yeah, I see him. Look on the minimap. Yeah, I can see him. I'm just making a mine there. Right. Yeah, and to okay, build a couple of houses, if you can. Oh, okay. Take, press the idle villager hotkey. Shall I press bring the, them? Check, check your check your base. Ah, check your fuck base. What is this? Okay. Garrison your villagers, take all your cavaliers and bring them back. By double clicking you can select one military yeah. unit. Create extra cavaliers and send them back to your base. 
Double click. I mean, it's his last ditch effort. Mm. But try to save your as many villagers as you can by garrisoning them. Um, okay. So now you only have 76 villagers. So, so now it would then, after that, would be time to redoom a little bit. But um, overall, I think he's, he's gonna resign after this attack, probably. Okay, take all your cavalier. Take all the cavalier and kill the remaining uh, cavalier of his in your base. Okay, it's dead, I think. And now kill the town center in the right corner. GG. GG. Type GG. Ah. Return to map. Type GG. Perfect. Well, well, well. Congratulations. Very oh, he, nice. look on the map. He had something on the left of your oh, face. Oh, what? That's ridiculous. This is, that's ridiculous. Come oh. on, what is this? <laughs> that's where the units so... came from, yeah. Because you, you did rate him quite a bit, so he, he thought you had needed to expand to the corners. Very nicely done, Jesse. Yeah, of course, with your help. Uh, amazing coaching. Easy game. First I mean, race in coaching. Villager to the boar. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, a suboptimal start to the game, I must uh, confess. Yes, but... but for that, very nice execution. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I don't yeah. know, what, what do the viewers say? Uh... uh Let's yeah. see. Oh, so many comments. Okay. Uh, I like this so far. More of these coaching games of the famous caster Peter Host. His ears. Men in arms are the best. All this new learned aggression. <laughs> I'm in fear of challenging Chess the Emperor. A deadly push. Congratulations. Indeed, indeed. I had my phone indeed. open on, on, on the Twitch, but I was uh, looking at the, the viewers instead of the chat. Ah, uh, I really right. need to get a second screen because this is uh, really uh, ridiculous. So one screen. Yes. One screen is not not enough. So for the viewers, we can uh, look at the achievements. Uh, you mean uh, the stats in the game? In the game. Yes. Um, by just yeah, quitting the game. All right, let's have a look. Uh, okay. In so how many points society. did you get? Points? Ah, so where do you get that? Here, plus 26. Plus 26, that's quite a lot. Is that? Oh, that's it's... almost... That's almost the maximum. Ah. <laughs> I think so, the maximum is like 32. Yeah, so the next game I'll, I'll play it against a really, uh, really uh, hard player then, I, I suppose. Okay, let's look at the timeline. Yes. That's what I'm most curious. So you hmm, see... Interesting. <clears throat> Beginning of, of your castle age, there's a big, like you have yeah. much less population, and that's because uh, for a while you didn't produce villagers, so that's something mm. um, to improve, like still yeah. producing villagers. Uh, yeah. But I think the scout or the scout aggression on the one hand, and then the knight aggression did enough to, yeah, yeah, bend him off. Yeah, yeah, he and tried to wall, perfect. but it was very inefficient, his, his walling. It didn't yes. work at all. Indeed, indeed. And that's the power of the Magyars because the, the plus attack, they get all the attack upgrades for free. Ah, I um, see. So that's why also the scouts were so effective in picking villagers. Ah, yeah, of course, yeah, because when I looked at the blacksmith, I was like, where's the the one in the you know the far corner? That's the attack upgrade, is it? Yes. So ah. that's that's why, and the scouts are a little bit cheaper, but yeah. the plus one attack is really a power spike. And also then your knights already have plus two to attack. So ah, they're missing it. Because then, yeah, they were just cleaning up the the other units, the infantry. I don't know what they were called. Yes, um, so that's why the sergeants. That's why, sergeants. They, yeah, they were very good against the sergeants and also against the, the spearmen. You can just fight the spearmen with them because yeah. they're just too weak. Yeah, well... Yes, yes. But the disadvantage of the Magyars is they have no economy bonus. Okay. So that's why they're not, like, top tier. So they in certain maps and circumstances, yeah. they're good. Um, but they're not top tier because uh, they lack the eco bonus. Ah, okay, I see. 
Yeah, no, or what was the other um, Civ that was good for Scout Rush? Was, um... uh, so Mongols, Mongols. The classic Scout Rush civilization. Yeah. I don't know if it's still the best one for that because so much has changed, uh -huh. but uh, that was one of the classic ones. Yeah. Um, you can also go for Huns, of course. Yeah, of course, yeah. No houses. Um, Huns is very classic for, for Scout Rushes. Um, and nowadays, uh, and also for the Franks in principle, because the Fran Franks get extra HP. Uh -huh. On the scouts, um, so a lot of options to choose yeah. from. Okay, so eight hundred and ninety. So we we got over the eight hundred mark. Yeah. And so next time we try to go over the eight fifty. Yeah. Rank barrier. Eight fifty. Yeah. Oh, this is exciting. The the hotkeys, uh, they are definitely a game changer for me. Yes, and, it makes uh, sense. Yeah. I have a, a mouse that is uh, the Viper's mouse, basically. This is the same Ooh. mouse that the Viper uses. So if I can learn how to use the there's, uh, keys on the sides, and uh, one of them I used for the selecting all the town centers. But I've got... I've got uh, four side keys, two on each side, so I could uh, put like um, maybe stables on there as well, and maybe barracks and archery, or and then I can yeah. kind of quickly try make not, units. Yeah, try not to get too fancy with that. I think it's more important to get the basic hotkeys down. Yeah, and then later on you can add these select all. But to double well. double click, I I didn't realize that you could double click uh, like stables or you know buildings basically. I didn't know. Yes. That's uh, yeah, quite powerful can... as well. And then you can select uh, set the gather point for yeah. all of them to the well, same. That's thing. amazing. Yeah, I mean that's a game changer for me as well because that's something I really struggle with uh, in especially in the late game. It's too much to to do without the hotkeys and without the yeah. double click. I suppose. Yeah. Probably the better way is to use the select all. Stables hotkey. Yes, I have um, those um, on my. I've I've reselected those as well, so I should be able to use them on my keyboard. But, but if you're not thinking about that, I think the double click is a good option. Yeah. Yeah. And no, very good. It was pretty good. I think sheep scouting. Use the sheep scouting in the beginning. Not don't try to make like the perfect circles around the towns <laughs> and scout. Okay. Um, and. And then try to also control group your scout in the beginning. Press control group one, because then you don't you don't need to like look for the scout. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And yeah, otherwise it's uh, already pretty good. I mean, we defeated a higher ranking player. Yes, that's good. Yeah, that's exciting. And without big problems. I mean, he, had, he sent some weird attack groups yeah. towards you, but you were able to defend. Yeah. Um, so something, I mean, one thing that wasn't really necessary was the, the monastery thing, um, which I told you to do. Well, I, I converted thought, like, to one knight. <laughs> okay, yeah, for that was actually pretty good. But I thought you would, would heal our own knights a little bit, but I think yeah, it, it didn't really work out. Overall. Yeah, yeah, especially since the the monk just stayed at the base, so in the you know, in my nights where we attacking. So yeah, I, I thought he would have more stuff, but then in the end, it wasn't so much. Yeah. yeah. Ah, yes, but you even had a conversion there, so different units, different. Um, yeah. yeah. Great success, I would say. Yeah. No, I'm hyped. Yeah. I'm like looking, the, the... Uh, looking forward to getting the next yeah. challenge. Yeah, and one thing is, if you have your villagers in the town center, instead of pressing G to ungarrison them, you should press F, F to send them back to work. Yeah. Okay. F. Yeah. Because then they just go to whatever they were doing before. Yeah. So farmer will go back exactly. to the farm. Exactly. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So I, I always make this mistake when I select the villagers to go in the town center, and then I use the G instead of. I think it's is it T to mm. uh, to garrison. E T is garrison. T yeah. yeah T. So I do that quite often, and G just means stop, right? Stop. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's really annoying. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, that happens happens to me as well. <laughs> okay. It's annoying. Okay. Yeah. All right. T 
and F. Yeah. Okay, this X. All right. I think it was a good, good session. Yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna go to bed now. Maybe you're just yes. gonna play another one for the viewers. Yeah. Maybe. Uh... Yeah, I could do another game. Right. Right. Well, sleep well. Thank you. And yeah, I'm looking forward to the next session. Thanks. You too. All right, then. See you soon. Yeah. Bye bye. All right. Well, let's see. Uh, I'm going to play another game just to see. Yeah, obviously, I'm up 26 now in rank. So uh, we'll see. Uh, I, I, and without the coaching of Peter Host, you know, uh, well, it's going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky. But considering that, uh, you know, this start was really messy, this this game, I think, I think I can do, I can do quite well. I can do quite well, if I if I get the start right. But who, but who knows? The I went up in rank quite a lot, so I can expect fierce resistance. So yeah, let's go back to the game. And uh, I'm gonna do another ranked game. Yeah, same settings. I'll um, I'll, I'll go for the uh, let's let's make 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 the match yet. Okay, make the match. Make the match. Let's take. Well, that's taking quite a long time. What's uh, going on here? Okay, excellent. So I'm going to go for the uh, the real scout um, civilization that, that Peter Host told me about, which was the Mongols. Let's go to Mongols. Where are the Mongols? Let's see Mongols. Where are you? On oh, no. what? Where are they? Ah, I can't see them. Is this alphabetical? Okay. M, Mongols, Malay, Malians, Malians, Mongols. Ah, there they are. So, cavalry archers, light cavalry, plus 30 and hit points. Hunters work 40% faster. Ah, that's it. So, you get food quicker, so then I get get to make the. Um, get to go to feudal quite quick, I suppose, and then scouts quite quick. So, sneak unit is cavalry archer. Just lost houses do not decrease population headroom. Ah, that's quite powerful as well. Okay. Um, each workshop units work move for fifty percent faster. This is an amazing sieve. Hey, okay. well, let's try this. Okay. But I need to get a match first. So let's see. Last time we had Arabia, maybe this time, I don't know. Not particular fan of any of those those maps, you know. It's just Nomad for me. But uh, let's see, see what we can do. What we get? Quite a long time to get. Here we go, <clears throat> Golden Pit. Okay, let's do this. Shall I one oh five them? Yeah, I'm gonna one oh five. You can resign again. <laughs> well, I don't even know who, who I think this is just chats within the team. This is it's more of a team game, I suppose. I don't see my opponent yet. So we don't know what what each other's uh, saves are, but uh, yeah, the Mongols. I'm gonna go for some aggression. Let's turn Peter Host's screen off. By the way, not there. All right, let's go. There we go. Okay, Japanese, in interesting, synergy and chaos. Okay. 
Well, we'll find out. Yeah. We're neither of us is connecting it. What's going on? Ah, I'm the first one. Nice little music for the. How many? One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> I found some more sheep. I'm going for another. Let's go there. Uh, this time. Come on then. Where's my scout? I'll oh, control one him. Okay, so I've found yeah, both boars now, so that means... Here. Yeah, I did have some idle time there. Ah, I killed it, yes. That's amazing. Why is my scout not advancing? Okay, so I've got three scouts. This is a better start, that's for sure. Let's be careful here. Ah, shit, I lost the villager. Damn it. That was a bit sloppy. Okay, 
Ah, oh, what? Where's the fucking boar? It is a sheep. Where did the boar go? Did just killing the boar with the town center? Was that, that was probably the mistake that I made. Ah, shit. Oh well. Okay, well, do I have more boars? Damn. Ah, oh, that was a huge mistake. Okay. Okay, well, hopefully... So, oh, I need to make barracks. But I need to keep making. What, not enough wood? That is disastrous. No, I'm not gonna have enough wood to make. Ah! That is painful. Okay, it must be because of the imbalance with the being being Mongols gain food too fast for the wood. You need more additional wood, I suppose. Ah, come on! Right. Actually, no. Put them on wood. And let's do the upgrade quickly. <clears throat> Ah, fuck. Okay, now let's get some gold. Get this one home. Well. Second, 
Oh, it's just a feudal, okay. That's Money. Fuck. Where's my mail over there? Okay. Ah! I won it already! Ah, that's amazing. Attack an enemy now, yes. I've done it! Ah, why did he give up already? Did I kill too many villagers? Ah, that's good. Yeah, oh, this one was... Oh, yeah, these men at arms were annoying. But, yeah, I, I killed a lot of villagers. And, um, yeah, it was enough for him to give up. Let's have a look at the stats. Uh, <clears throat> um, statistics. So, um, okay. Another plus 26. Going up rapidly now with these uh, in these ranked games. That's interesting. Okay, military, economy, technology, all better. Okay, let's go to the timeline. Yo, I was in Feudal Age Nice at 12 minutes. I think it was more that I had the, the Mongol bonus, so I could buy a lot of food quite quickly, so that helped. 12 minutes is quite a good time, I think, for Feudal. Um, and yeah, he was a lot later, at 18 minutes, and, you know, okay, <clears throat> when I attacked, it took me some time to actually produce the, um, the scouts, because, well, um, yeah, I hadn't quite calibrated the number of villagers I needed for wood here, for the Mongols, I needed to put more on wood, 
I didn't have enough to to the, build the barracks and the um, and the stables. So yeah, when I arrived, I could do some damage, but he quite quickly already had men at arms, so that was his game. Go for men at arms. Not sure if he was doing planning on power, power rushing me or just just men at arms or uh, what his plan was over there. But yeah, I was too in already with the, with the scouts. Could outrun his uh, men at arms and just kill kill all the villagers. Um, yeah. Now I lost some of the scouts eventually, but but I did kill quite a lot of villagers, and I was, you know, getting ready, getting ready to to click up to Castle Age. So yeah, I think you can um, pressure him a lot, and that made him do a GG. That's uh, quite amazing. You know, two games tonight, and both of them won. And um, yeah, that was that was quite amazing. Good night for Jesse the Emperor. It seems that uh, the training is and the coaching is at least, uh, you know, uh, making some some of a difference here. Uh, yeah, that was uh, that was a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to see what um, Good Please has in store for me for the in the next seven weeks of the Age of Empires two challenge. All right, so that was it for tonight. I hope to see you again all soon on the Just the Emperor Twitch or otherwise on the Food Pleach YouTube channel where you can see this video uh, from tomorrow onwards. And um, be right back. <laughs>